Now, guys, it's time to wrap this Asura Soka. Now, I had to go to market to search for this leaf, this all my leaves, but oh my god, or oh, Eter, anyone. Uh, my, my leaves, I I wasn't able to see, I couldn't see or get the the fresh ones. I only found these um, dry ones. And, uh, I had to soak it for some time in water, then rinse it before it softened this way. So just watch carefully how to wrap these leaves. So you wrap the leaves just as you see me do in the video. Maybe I'm going to make a special video on how to wrap these leaves anyway. So you wrap the leaves, just follow the tricks, okay? Now to the center of this, you'll be scooping in your Asura Soka. <laughs> but if you don't know how to wrap these leaves or you don't have, the, you can't get these leaves, anyways, you can use um, a waterproof or an aluminum foil, wrap it very well, then you boil it. But if you can get these leaves, these leaves can also add extra taste to your Asura Soka, honestly. And it will also make your Asura Soka to come out perfect, like, <laughs> because this is a traditional way to wrap it or to make it. Those days, the grinding of this maize is done in a mortar. So once you are done grinding it, before you add other ingredients in it, then you wrap it up and then you are ready to cook it. You may use two of the leaves like I've been using or you may also use just one of the leaves. If you are sure that your leaf, your leaf um, won't leak, you may also use one just as you see me doing now. You may use one of the leaves to also scoop in your asura sock. And make sure you don't overfill the, the leaves because if you overfill it, it's going to pour out and you're not going to like it okay so don't overfill it so once you are done wrapping your your asura soccer now